All right, let's go take this guy on a test drive. Only have 30% battery. I didn't have a chance to charge it late in the evening, but let's see if we can go find some sun. I don't even know what setting I'm on. I am a parking god. Look at this. Bam. Hold this parking spot for Steve. Because he is a parking god. <laughs> Losers. Alright, we're over here at the 7 Mile Bridge. The newly opened walkway. Bit of a breezy day, which is why I'm not fishing. Testing out my GoPro Hero 11 Black. There's the info on the bridge. Oh, this section is new. They got a walkway, that's smart. Park at the Sunset Grill and then walk under the boardwalk here. And then down to the other side. Racists. There's our down view. Tide's going this way, so I would be fishing on the other side of the bridge. I'm definitely not walking down to Pigeon Key. That's the island way at the end there. I still have to do a video about fishing on the other side of there. But this will give good footage. This is kind of going into the sun. See if it's picking up the audio as well from the Sunset Grill. And we're walking and we are videoing. How is my image stabilization working? I was gonna go all the way to the end I'd take my uh, troll bike that's a hassle to put in my trunk you could they've also got the uh, they also have the uh, little train in this image stabilization with a moving object not bad a bit breezy today that's as far as I'm walking. I don't walk. I kayak with a motor. All right, here we go. It is nice. I can see the screen so I can see myself. So that'll help. Doing the selfie talking videos. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, I do like that. That is a nice feature. As long as it doesn't soak up a lot of battery time. Nice. All right, we're heading back. See the cars moving, we're walking, cars are driving, water's moving. How are we looking? 5K. All right, image stabilization, walking downstairs. How are we looking? Bit of low light as well. I'm carrying the camera on a kind of a GoPro selfie stick, so it's a little bit more stable than my head uh, mount, but... Check it out. These stairs were always here. Here we go. Current's ripping. walkway this is supposed to have some sort of horizon adjustment thing I don't know if it's on or if it's working or I have to turn it on but it supposedly has it oh yeah it keeps the horizon I'm on a big ship 
Huh, that ought to be neat. All right, we're back. So let's upload this footage. Uh, run it through my editing program and uh, see roughly how it's going to do. Hey everybody, how are we doing today? So in today's video, we are going to be upgrading the QS Kayak Fishing Channel. Uh, but first off, I always want to start off with a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. Uh, they're the ones that crack open that wallet, take out that hard earned money and throw it at me, which allows me to do this kind of stuff. So thank you guys very much for the support. It makes a huge difference. Uh, anytime I lose something, which I lose a lot. Anytime I break something, I break a lot. Anytime corrosion eats something or kills something, which like this, uh, I lose a lot of stuff that way as well. Knowing that I've got that pool of money, I don't have to think about it. I just go out and get what I need. Or even if I want to try something new, uh, it comes in handy as well. So thank you much uh, to you guys for that. But anyways, I run a GoPro Hero Black for the most of my videos for the last couple of years. Works fine. However, what happened is there's a little rubber covering covering the uh, record button and the uh, power button. And because of saturating and salt water and the sun, that uh, rubber covering got very brittle, crumbled away. I didn't notice it wore a hole through it. Water got into the power socket and killed my power button. So for the last couple of videos, the only way I could get this to work is uh, I have to pull the battery out, put it back in, and it jump starts it. It turns on. I turn on the vocal commands, then uh, I have to physically, vocally tell it to shut down. It shuts down, and then it turns on by itself after five seconds. It turns on, then I have to vocal shut it down again, and then I can record with it, and then vocally shut it down and then basically go through the same thing every time I want to record something. And uh, that's just not practical for this type of stuff that I do. I don't do big cinematography and all these cool views and stuff, but I have visually sight fishing, instantaneous, there's the fish, watch me cast, ooh, it's eating it, and that kind of uh, capabilities. But when I'm dealing with this kind of thing, it's just not very practical. So therefore, bam! GoPro Hero 11 Black to the rescue. So basically, fortunately what happened, it ha this occurred a couple of days before Black Friday, Cyber Monday, um, some good sales at GoPro, so it made it a kind of an easy decision to do. Uh, I ended up getting the GoPro 11 Black and a spare battery for $388.05. So the deal was uh, the GoPro by itself is $500. Then if you sign up for their annual $50 membership fee, uh, it'll knock the price down for the GoPro to $350. Um, then you have to pay $50 for the membership, so it's $400. Uh, but then uh, for Cyber Monday, Black Friday, I think on both of them, they did a site-wide 15% off. So that knocked off uh, basically $45, $50. So it ended up bringing it down to $299 for the camera. Uh, it was like $16, $17 for a spare battery and then the $50 membership fee and then $23 tax, uh, free shipping over in $99. So that's where I ended up the $388. So not too bad, uh, it was a worthwhile. I could have got another GoPro Black 8 for around $275 new, but it would be just from a second seller, so no warranty. Um, so I spent another $100 and I have a brand new from an 8 to 11 uh, for $100 plus a warranty, uh, 4K to 5K. But again, I don't do cine cine cinematography style videos. Uh, I don't even know if my computers will live up to doing 5K editing or how long the, um, to upload them will take. Uh, 4K takes long enough. I can't even watch 4K on my systems. Uh, the most I could do is 2.7K or the 1440. Uh, and plus the fact that I think it's like 60% of videos are watched on cell phones. So 5K must really make a difference. But hey, why not? It does have uh, two or three steps better image stabilization, which is a huge thing. So I definitely don't mind that. That would be an extra $100 worth it right there. 
Uh, so yeah, so let's check this guy out. So we've got the uh, GoPro Hero 11 Black here. Comes with a nice little case. Tear it open. Instead of that old clear cover box, they give you a nice zippered case. And our handy dandy case. Bam. Got a cable. Got our base brackets there with a little stick on mount. A little wing nut tie down tensioner. Battery. Got our manuals and warranty info, some stickers, and the camera wrapped in paper. Some stickers. Oh, it does have a front viewfinder, uh, so you can actually watch what you're recording on the front versus the 8, which had the uh, just a numeric menu there, so you can actually watch what you're recording when you're doing selfies. But there you go. GoPro 11 Black. Size wise, wow, it's bigger than my 8. I didn't know that. Height is about the same, but it's about a third of an inch, half of an inch. Well, longer. Same little wings. Looks like this lens is removable, so that's much better than this disposable. But other than that, got the little wingy things fold out of the way. That's good. Got a couple microphones there. Microphone there. Microphone there. Yeah, pretty basic. So uh, yeah, let's go play with this guy a little bit. Get a little samples. I'll be able to see how it, uh, how long it takes to edit these videos or even if I can edit these videos. So let's go check it out. All right, we're back. Uh, got to play with the uh, GoPro Hero 11 Black. Actually uh, downloaded a couple of the clips and checked those out. Uh, the, the image quality is definitely better. The image stab stabilization is just way better. Uh, definitely worth the $100 upgrade there. I, that's totally worth it on that part. Uh, however, I already see some problems uh, and those are, I can't upload those files to my editing software. It won't read them. Big problem, but it's something that I've dealt with with my 8 Black already, so I already kind of know the workaround. Uh, basically what happens is, like on the 8 Black, I could do 4K, 30 frames per second, and it works fine. I could upload, edit, no problems. Uh, that's because it uh, formats it in a H.264 format, and that's readable through the software and everything. However, if you change it to 4K, 60 frames per second, it records it and changes the format into, uh, they call it an HEVC, and it's just a different format style for these larger files. And that my uh, software program won't read, and therefore I can't upload them. But back then I figured out with a workaround, well the main workaround is I didn't do 60 frames per second, but the second workaround was that I could use a program called Handbrake. And it basically converts it from HEVC to the .264, and then everything's good there. The problem with that workaround is, is that I have to convert those large massive files and it takes a long time. It's not a speedy process. So it's one big extra step adding to the process and time is money and I don't have a lot of free time. So that's part of it kind of hurts. So I would just never do 60 frames per second. The problem with the GoPro 11 is all formats, regardless of how low you drop it, change it it's all HEVC that newer format which is not readable so bam but I could still use that workaround using the handbrake convert it and then I could edit those programs now second big problem is my computer system can't handle those large files uh, once I load those files and try to run them just to kind of view them uh, it's really blocky and my CPU is maxed out it's at 100% performance so it's that computer just can't handle it. And then the third problem is I use a, uh, Adobe, Adobe Premiere Elements. It's not Premiere Pro, it's kind of the, the, the lower version with just the basic uh, stuff on it. 
it won't up, um, upload 5K anyway, so regardless if I did edit and get it all done, it's still just going to be that same 4K format. So really all for naught. So my workaround for those two is on the computer system. I would just need to drop $1,500. I could build my own gaming slash editing computer fairly easily, and that would uh, handle the, the, the file uh, formats without a problem. Um, the second one is I could upgrade to Premiere Pro, uh, except that it's a $30 a month membership, and basically that goes on forever. Um, I bought Premiere Elements one because you can just buy it and you never have to pay again after that. Uh, however, I can upgrade it to the new 2023 version, which can directly import those HEVC files, and I wouldn't have to do the uh, the handbrake part of it. I could directly load those, and then with that new computer system, I could just start editing, and all would be well there. I just couldn't do 5K uploads, so. I do have some workarounds to think about. And then the, the final option is, is that since I took that rubber part off of my GoPro Hero 8 Black, the little rubber covering off the power button, and it sat around for a few days, I think it dried out and it's starting to work now. So what I did is I got some of my um, lure eyes. They're kind of a dome shape eyes, they're 3D eyes. And I stuck a couple of those on the buttons and then I put some Gorilla Tape over the whole thing to make it waterproof and now both of them work. Everything works just like new. So my 8 is working functional so I can just go back to using that and forget the 11 block and just kind of wait till I figure out the rest of this stuff. So we'll have to see. But uh, anyways, there we go. I'll play with, I'll do a couple of trips with the 11 black, see how it works out, see how the editing works out, how long it takes. But uh, otherwise, keep an eye out for those. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.